What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, and we are going to watch a death battle. Oh yes. Guts versus Nightmare. Hold on, let me get it full screen. Blah, 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 blah. Now, uh, I don't know who to choose who to vote for, because I've played a bit of Soul Calibur, and I've seen a bit of Berserk. I don't know exactly which episodes I've seen. They were just random episodes that I found. Uh, I've seen two of them, I think. Maybe three, I just don't remember the third one. I have no idea what episodes they were, when they took place in the series. But from what I watched, it was okay. I didn't, I wasn't very interested, so I didn't watch the rest. But I really should. After seeing the previews for this one, Guts sounds really rad. And, I don't know, I should keep watching it. But, anyways, enough wasting time, let's get started. Three, two, one, now. This episode of Death Battle is brought to you by Squarespace. The easiest way to Add. Oh, well, at least there's no ad in the middle of the episode. I can already see it right there on the time bar. Squarespace.com I really like the theme song. Decades, scientists have searched for a legitimate method of measuring a person's level of badassness. Completely missing by their giant sword, probably. Just check out the size of his sword, like Guts, the brutal black swordsman from Berserk, and Nightmare, the demonic scourge from Soul Calibur. He's with nine boomstick. Nightmare and definitely has a cooler looking sword, but I don't know. Guts seems like a cooler guy. <laughs> oh, yep, Guts. Let's learn about Guts. In the realm of Midland. Rumors run rampant of a man wielding a human <laughs> blade, slaying any who get in his way. But before his legend grew, this black swordsman was known simply as Guts. Guts. Oh, man, I'm so no guts, guts, no glory. So I guess if he doesn't win, this episode won't be glorious. Yeah, I'm kind of cheering for Guts with this one. He just seems a lot cooler. Yeah, it's kind of dark. But he's gonna lose because he's an anime character. No. Uh, from a tree. If <laughs> Guts loses, that's all we're gonna hear. They don't like Amine. Who died to plague three years later? With no one left to turn to, Guts was mentored by the mercenary leader Gambino. I thought that was Guile at first from Street Fighter. Just six years old. Why did I think that? I have no clue. Get wrecked, scrub. An extremely determined student of war, Guts was soon brought onto the battlefield and killed his first man at the age of nine. Nice. I didn't kill my first man until the age of never. I don't want to know either, Boomstick. Like I said, Guts is pretty rad. Guts became a lone mercenary, and a damn good one. Recognized for his skill, he was recruited by the mercenary crew called the Band of the Hawk, led by an ambitious man named Griffin. The Hawk's Raiders would be Guts' first taste of camaraderie and friendship. Over the next three years, they oh, this was one of the episodes I saw. The one where they're riding on the horses. They were looking up for Guts, and then Griffin summoned a horde of demons, transformed into a bat monster, murdered all of Guts' friends, and claimed ownership of Guts' soul by branding his neck. If that wasn't dramatic enough, Griffith then raped Guts' girlfriend in the pool of oh, friend's blood as he watched. That is not cool. That is not cool. Definitely Out of all the not coolest things you could do, that, that is the not coolest. Entire life to murdering Griffith as oh. and brutally as possible. While fighting demons on a daily basis. Not cool, Griffith. Like not but to do cool. He needs the right tools for the job. I'm going to rip out his kneecaps and eat them. He also received a new mechanical hand, which houses a flamethrower, repeater cross. Like there are a million not cool things you could do, but you just had to do the not coolest. But none of that compares to Guts' primary tool of destruction, the giant blade known as Dragon Slayer. Dragon Slayer. Generic sword name number seven twenty-seven. 
massive, thick, heavy, and far too rough. It's too big to be preceded by the the Avenger and, and succeeded by the the, the arm cutter something. I am trying way too hard to make this funny, even though I'm not a funny guy. I should just keep watching the episode. Except for guts. Sitting six and a half feet long and weighing over 400 pounds, the Dragon Slayer is enormous, though Ugh. not unfeasible. 400 pounds. The largest sword ever used in battle belonged to a Frisian freedom fighter and stood seven feet tall, though it wasn't nearly as heavy, only 14 pounds. With a single swing of Dragon Slayer, Guts can cleave through a man wearing heavy armor. Along with his weapon, his horse, and any other people, animals, or demons who happen to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. I wouldn't and want to be on Guts' bad side. Demons, no, I did not stutter. Dragon Slayer has bathed in so much demonic blood that it now rests in both the physical and astral planes of existence. Somehow. Meaning it is capable of harming any supernatural being. Even ghosts! Ooh. Guts is an absolute monster in combat. He can move faster than the eye can track. Kill that could be a deciding factor right there. Night, and once jumped in the mouth of a giant sea god, cut his way through it, and killed it from within. You intend to gamble your life on a single strike. Guts will do anything to defeat his foes, including jumping into fire or allowing himself to be impaled just to gain an advantage. <laughs> somehow he always survives. He's fallen hundreds of feet, gotten stabbed through the face, taken 1,000 supernatural punches at once, <laughs> even been run over by an elf fairy mothra going supersonic speeds. But his disregard for his own safety can be costly. Honestly, the only reason he's still alive is pure dumb luck and unstoppable willpower. And if Guts wasn't tough enough... Uh, that could be a deciding factor of why he'd lose, too. The most I'm getting unsure about this again. Activating the Berserker armor seals off the wearer's nervous system, making him immune to pain and its natural inhibitions. This allows Guts to fight at his fullest potential, boosting his power and speed at the risk of damaging his own body. With hmm. his armor, Guts' sword swing is more powerful than a cannonball. Though the force can break his own arm. But don't worry, the cursed berserker armor will literally rip and pierce his body to pin the bones and muscle back in place. Now don't get the wrong idea, the armor does not actually heal Guts. It just holds him together. This is dangerous because, well, even though Guts won't feel pain, that doesn't make him invincible. Plus, the Berserker armor also kind of forces Guts to give in to his inner demons and lose all sense of morality and restraint. Oh, so he is an inner demon, too. How many fictional characters have that? And completely uncontrollable. Guts is the embodiment of rage and the epitome of badassery. <laughs> Believe me, the last thing you want to do is get in this guy's way. Oh. My sword has gotten very dull. However, it's three times as thick. And does three times the damage of a normal sword. Oh yes. Pray you die quickly, or this could be painful. Oh dear. Nightmare. Long, long ago, transcending history and the world, an enormous sword was forged, designed to be the deadliest weapon on the battlefield. That is like the coolest sword I've ever seen, though. And it was a beast, gigantic, powerful, sexy. <laughs> I'd like to give that sword a swing, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It left no survivors in its wake. Just like my ex-wife at an all-you-can-eat buffet. <laughs> a great Boomstick and the ex-wife jokes. After claiming victory upon victory and being bathed in the blood and hatred of countless foes, a fire was born inside Soul Edge. Literally. I would have a staring contest with Soul Edge. Do you think that would be a good idea? ...had one purpose, to infect the world with evil and chaos. But in order to accomplish this, he needed a warrior capable of wielding the true power of Soul Edge. He planned to possess this warrior and train Soul Edge is a way cooler name for a sword than the Dragon Slayer. Nightmare. I'm just saying. Guts is the cooler guy, but Nightmare has the cooler sword. Uh, who's gonna win? Leon raided an English galleon and discovered the intriguing blade aboard, claiming it as his own. But as we know, this was no ordinary flesh-covered sword with an eyeball. It <laughs> seized this opportunity and possessed the pirate, testing his body by slaughtering the entire population of a Spanish port town. Poor Spaniards! 
Adios mios! was not the ideal vessel in Perno's songs. So he made him sit in that town until two chicks showed up, killed his ass, Ooh. somebody more powerful they have big someone was a knight named big they have big eyes yeah uh, oh soul edge inferno began eating away at his soul torturing him endlessly and feeding on his fear and anger does he have an inner demon too into nightmare he has the gross reptile Godzilla hands conquering whole armies and devouring thousands of innocent souls if you haven't figured it out by now soul edge is kind of like the ring from Lord of the Rings if it could cut people I never watched that movie however soul edge's power was incomplete Let's let's make everyone angry and list off all the super popular movies that I've never watched. Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, Titanic, Avatar, The Avengers. Yeah, I don't know movies. I'm more of an animation kind of guy. I literally think I've seen every animated movie that's come out in the past 10 years. I honestly think that. Because I don't get how people think animation is just for kids. It's a, it is a, it's, it's very hard to make. It takes a lot of time and effort and it's very creative. I wish there was like a rated R animated feature, just so they could prove that it could be for adults too. Then hopefully maybe they'll get, animation will grow into a bigger and bigger form of media. I got off topic there, but whatever. Wow. Has come close to conquering the world on numerous occasions, yet a warrior wielding Soul Calibur always seems to show up and hold him at bay. While Soul Edge seems indestructible, apart from that pesky holy sword, Inferno does require a mortal body to create Nightmare. Should Nightmare fall, Inferno can risk his own life by manifesting himself to protect Soul Edge, as his very existence is tied to the sword. But uh. manages to absorb that final shard, Soul Edge and Nightmare will merge into their ultimate form. Night Terror. A larger, flyier nightmare. Flyier? Yeah, when one gains the power of flyingness? <laughs> flyier. No matter the time, place, or vessel, few can match the vile trio of Soul Edge, Inferno... Did they record this after midnight? Combat just set. Alright. 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 Giant swords, yeah. Giant swords. Yeah. Giant swords. Oh yeah. Giant swords. Mm hmm And Guts cut down the tree, didn't he? I'm Guts. I'm going to slice your face off. You're in his way. Stand aside. He told you to. You better listen to him. Go, Guts! Come on, Guts! <gasps> the giant swords. Oh. Ooh. Come on, come on. You can make it, guts. You can make it. Yeah. I can't even tell what um, uh, Nightmare is saying. Like, oh, 
Oh. Uh, come on, guts! You could, you could beat him. He's already transforming. Wow. There's still a lot of time left in the episode. Wonder how long this fight's gonna go on. Oh, ah! Uh, come on, guts! Guts! What are you doing? Get up! Oh yeah! Nice one! Yo, Guts has this! Oh no, it's one of those fake deaths. Oh, come on. Come on. Don't let him get you, Guts. Don't let him get you. No, no, no. Come on, Guts. Hell yeah. now that's what I call Wait, what? Fight. While Nightmare wields more power than Guts, this is what Guts does every single day. He gets kicked <laughs> out of him trying to defeat gods and demons, leagues above his abilities, and still prevails. It's true. Oh, yeah. This guy lives in a world where giant monsters are trying to kill you, eat you, rape you, we're all three at the same time. And that's just Monday. <laughs> True, all his life guts has had the odds stacked against Just him, Monday. Yet he's still kicking while everyone... Well, Mondays are the worst. Oh, but Wizard, I thought only Soul Calibur could destroy Soul and... <laughs> That's also true in the Soul Calibur world. However, Inferno exists on an astral plane. If you recall, Guts' sword Dragon Slayer also exists on such a plane, leaving no question that it could destroy Soul Edge. Plus, his berserker armor bought him plenty of time to land the killing blow. Woo! It will literally let you fight on until all of your bones are shattered and the last drop of your blood is spilled. And it's not like Soul Edge was going to have any luck tempting Guts into picking it up and turning into another nightmare. Not only has Guts dealt with enough demonic shit to know that's a bad idea, <laughs> he really loves that Dragon Slayer. He's not giving that up for anything. Guts was just a whole nother Woo! The winner is Guts. Guts! All right, who's next? next time Someone I know? Oh, Iron Man! Who's he fighting? It's like the old saying: if you want someone killed right, you have to kill him yourself. Lex Luthor. He's bald, so it has to be Lex Luthor. I'm not familiar with the DC universe, so I have no idea if that's Lex Luthor or not, but he's bald, so I'm assuming it is. Iron Man versus Lex Luthor, oh yeah.